I recently got uh, a blue guitar amp one, which is this. And for quite a long time now, I've been using this, Strymon Iridium, for recording at home and for, for guitar demos and things like that. That's what I've been using. Um, so in case you don't know, uh, the difference between these is that this is an, an amp and speaker cab simulator. So you can plug your guitar direct into this and then go from there into your interface to record uh, or into a, a PA system on a gig. And this will basically do an impression of an amp and a speaker cab. A really good impression. I mean, it's a brilliant little thing. I can't speak highly enough of this. Um, and you can select different cabs and different amps. There's not that many, there's three amps basically. A Fender type, a Vox type and a Marshall type. Really good sounding amps though. And you can select different speaker caps for each one. They're IRs, so you can load in different ones. I don't really know too much about all of that. I haven't done, I've just used the ones that come with it. Anyway, brilliant unit. So I've got this. Now the difference between these two is this is an amp and you, if you're watching this, you probably already know that, but just in case you don't, amazingly, this is an amp. I'm holding it like this, it's not heavy, it's not much heavier than this. Um, and it's an actual 100 watt guitar amp. Uh, all you need to do is connect that to a speaker and you don't need any power from anywhere else. This is the amp. So it's got a power amp and a preamp in it. And it's a, a 100 watt guitar amp connected to a speaker or to a PA um, or to your recording interface because even though it's an amp you don't need to have a speaker attached for it to work with an actual guitar amp you always should have a speaker attached um, but for this you can silently record because you can or with this I should say you can silently record because you don't need to attach a speaker you can just plug it straight into your um, in audio interface or whatever you're using so anyway so that's the difference between these two that's an amp that's an amp simulator with also a speaker simulator as well and this hopefully will replace my guitar amp on my gigs um, and I will use a speaker cab with it. So I, I also got a, um, a blue guitar speaker cab. Uh, so I'm hoping that will replace my, my traditional amp on gigs. So we shall see. Uh, but what I want to talk about today and to, to try out is to, I want to see if this will also replace this. So for recording, can I use this? And it's not because it's more convenient or smaller or anything because it's not but it means that I can get rid of this if I don't if this does as good a job for recording I won't need this anymore and the only problem is this has got the speaker simulator built in as well so we've also got this which blue guitar make and this is a speaker simulator so this with that um, should do the job of the Strymon Iridium hopefully um, I should point out that, I mean, I've only plugged this in twice and it, it sounds brilliant. So, so far it, it, it's really good. It's, I think it probably sounds as good as the Iridium, if not better in some ways. It's got more sounds in it, it's more versatile, I think. Uh, but the limitation is it has got a built-in speaker simulation. When you, there's a record out, when you use that, you're, it's got a, a built-in speaker sim. Uh, but it's only one and it's possibly not that great. Um, I th it sounded okay when I tried it out, but so it may maybe isn't the best one you could you could have. Whereas this has got 16 in, I think, and uh, there's a whole range of them and, and they're really good. I mean, these are really highly rated uh, and uh, I've only plugged this in once to, to see if it works okay, uh, but it seemed to do the job really well. So, a bit long-winded, sorry about that, but I'm going to plug these in, plug the Iridium in and compare them and we'll see if uh, if this can do the job of the Iridium. I don't expect it to be better for recording. If it's as good, then I'm happy and I'll get rid of the Iridium. Uh, and what I'm going to use for this is this, my back um, or may back thin line telly. I can't remember what the pickups are. Uh, American make, can't remember what it is, but yeah, single coil pickup, standard kind of telly-ish type guitar. Um, and I think the, uh, the blue guitar amp one, this one is the Mercury edition and, and all the reviewers say that 
these are it's particularly good with single coils um, so I will do some reviews of that and demos of that with different guitars with humbucker guitars as well but but for now this is my sort of go-to guitar at the moment I'm going to use this so what you'll be hearing will be this guitar plugged into the the uh, amp one plus the uh, the blue box uh, and then you'll also hear the same guitar same settings and everything but on the iridium and I'm going to try to match what the iridium does with the the blue box and the amp one
So I've just been listening back to, to what I did where I compared the, the Blue Guitar Amp 1 to the Iridium. And just having a quick listen, my, my sort of first thoughts are that I need to play around with the Amp 1 a bit more and explore what that can do and play around with the settings. I didn't touch the settings on the side. There's some settings on the side of that that you can adjust the, the tone and and a, a few other things on, on the... Um, there's a little mini sort of um, switches that you can adjust. So I didn't touch those. Um, I also didn't really look too much at the modern and the classic models, be mainly because they're not sounds that I'll probably ever be using and they're not sounds I use on the Iridium. Uh, but yeah, my first sort of impression was that the Iridium's simpler to use, even though the Amp One's got a reputation for being very simple, the Iridium is definitely simpler. It's partly because I'm used to it, I suppose, but it is very easy to use. Uh, and at first, I think the kind of the Vox type sound on the Iridium was better, but then as I was playing around with the Amp One, I started to prefer that. Um, same with the clean sound, really. Initially, I, I preferred the Iridium. So, so I think um, I haven't got any big conclusions with this. I'll need to play around with the Amp One some more. But uh, first impressions are, I think I'll end up preferring it to the Iridium, and I probably will get rid of the Iridium. But at the moment, if I have to do any recording like tomorrow or something, I'd still use the Iridium because I know where I am with that. Uh, but with a bit of playing about, I think the Amp One is going to be really good. So let me know what you you thought in the comments, and uh, I'll do another review of the Amp One and the, maybe another demo once I've really sussed out how to use the thing properly. Okay, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.